Hey guys, on today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to run a network cable from one room through a wall into another room and make it look like a professional installation. It costs us around $20. Coming up next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, let me show you what my plan is for my new network wall jack. I have a single wall that separates my family room from my master bedroom. In our family room, we have a network cable that comes out of the wall and connects to our TP-Link 8-port switch. This switch connects to our PS4, our Roku box, our TV, and a desktop computer. So I have extra ports available on this switch. So my plan is to plug a CAS6 cable into the switch and run that cable through the wall into my master bedroom. And that will connect to a new network wall plate. And that wall plate will have a CAT6 jack. And this installation will look professional. So now we'll have wired internet in our master bedroom. Here are the required parts for the install. First, you'll need a CAT6 jack. You'll need a one port wall plate. Two drywall anchors that fit the screws. And you'll need some CAT6 cable. My cable is about 10 feet, but the length of that cable will depend on the new location of your new wall jack. So now let's take a look at the required tools for this installation. You'll need a cordless drill, various drill bit sizes, a hammer, a measuring tape, and a drywall saw. And here are a few more tools you may need. Wire stripper, a pencil, and a crimping tool if you're going to make your own patch cables. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure from where the coax cable comes out of the wall in the family room, and then I'll measure in the master bedroom that same distance. So this way, when I drill the hole from the family room into the master bedroom, I have an idea where it's going to come out. So now I'm going to take off the wall plate, and this will allow me to see into the wall to where I'll be drilling. It's really important to make sure the area I'm going to be drilling has no wires in front of it. I saw no wires, and I used a measuring tape just to tap on the wall, and we're good to go. The area behind my guitars is where I'm going to put this wall jack. The hole will be near the bookcase. So now you'll need a drill bit for your cordless screwdriver. Use the largest bit you have. The drill bit I'm using is used to go through thick walls. However, you can use a smaller drill bit. Just make sure the drill bit is long enough so it can go through the other side. And here will be the location of our new wall jack. So now I'm going to use a drywall saw to enlarge the hole. I want the hole big enough to fit the back of the wall plate. There's a rectangular area that sticks out, and that's where the CAT6 wall jack goes into. And don't forget, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. So when you remove drywall, less is best. Take your time and shape around the area you want to remove and test it with a wall plate. And nope, not big enough. <laughs> so gradually remove the drywall until the back of that wall plate fits in the hole. And the wall plate will sit flush against the wall. And we'll remove a little more drywall. And it fits perfect. Now it's time to connect the CAT6 jack to the CAT6 cable. This CAT6 jack will cost around $5. You get the CAT6 wall jack, you get the punch down tool, and you also get a wire cover. We'll also need some CAT6 cable. This roll of cable is about 10 feet. I'm gonna cut it in half. That's all I'm gonna need. After cutting the wire in half, go ahead and strip back the blue wire cover. So this end connects to the CAT6 wall jack, and this end connects to the switch. I have done a video on how to install a CAT6 wall jack, and here's a link to that video. Cut off the white string. Next, unravel all the wires. After you unravel all the wires, it's time to place the wires into the wall jack slots. And this is how you do it. So the bottom left is white-orange. Above that is orange. Make sure to use the punch down tool to push them all the way down. The next color above the orange is brown, and above that is white-brown. Once again, use the punch-down tool 
The wires need to go all the way down. Okay, the left side is done. Time for the right side. The bottom right wire is green, and above that is green-white. And next above that is blue-white, then above that is blue. Now take the punch down tool and push all the wires down just one more time. And we're done. Next, trim off any excess wire. And now add the wire cover. Okay, looks good. We're ready to go. Next, insert the Castix wall jack into the wall plate. Next, go ahead and feed the wire through the wall through the other side. Now, I'll go ahead and plug it into the 8 port switch. Push the wires back in and do a test fit. Looks good. Next, use a pencil to mark for the holes for the anchors. Now, simply drill the holes for the anchors. Start small, then get a little larger. You want the anchors to be snug in the drywall. Use your hammer to tap it in. And the bottom one didn't require a hammer. And the last part, attach the wall plate with the two screws and then you're done. And this wall plate looks like a professional installation. And total cost was $20. So how do I know if this Ethernet even works? Well, let's test this out on our streaming device. And guys, if you have any questions about this installation, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, if you don't feel comfortable working with Ethernet wires and drilling through walls, then be sure to hire a professional. And we're connected. Well guys, as usual, I wanna thank you so much for watching. And if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks again for watching.